Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, what's up? If you're not new to my channel, what's up? Use my name, what's up? Use my name, what's up? We're back here with another motherfucking video. Oops. But as you can tell by the title, I'm about to zoom something out of the braids and I'm going to be showing you guys. You're going to be coming on a journey with me because I've never done knotless braids before. So this is going to be my first time doing knotless braids. And at first, I originally wanted the like jumbo, but then somebody just kept telling me to do them a little smaller. So I think I'm gonna do medium. I don't wanna do too small on my first time just because it's my first time. Like I low key want sizes like this, but I feel like this is mad small to be doing a whole bunch of these all over my head. I feel like this is too small to be honest. I don't know, I don't really know. <laughs> how i'm gonna do this a, a lot of this is going to be time lapse of course um i'm gonna try to you know get good angles but a lot of this is definitely going to be time lapse because i don't really have nowhere to sit this and i need to see you know I need to see and I can't really see. So I don't really know how I'm going to do this, guys. I really don't know. And so this is just a little hair oil I made just to be keeping my scalp moisturized. I have my clips and hair ties that I'm going to need. Combs. I don't need two combs, but I just have this comb. Okay, hey. <laughs> Got combs. I brought my live two combs down. And I went bought more of this because the, the edge booster is the only um edge show that I feel like really will slick my hair down and keep it down, even if it's oily. Um Evan used Evan never really worked for me to be honest. One time in cosmetology school, some girl had put a lot on and she was like, that's how she get it to work, but it just oils my hair up. I just got this because it was red and I love red. I don't know what scent it is. Smells regular, regular schmuck. Oh, it says raspberry. I was looking for the name and I couldn't even find it. But I got this. This is what I'm going to use the part and do all the stuff. I was going to get Shine and Jam. I needed to get more of that anyway, but I just didn't do it. And then I got the model model. Um hair this hair is long it says 30 inch this hair is so long but i, I got two of these 10 of them come in here it's pre-stretched and i got two separate packs of the 613 and then i got two of these it's 30 as well by the same person. So all together, the individual pieces I have. 26. Took me a minute. I kept counting them. So before when I was asking people, they kept saying get um dang, I could see in this other mirror. Cause I can see like through here. I can't see like directly in back of me. I seen this thing on Amazon to order. It has like three different things. But I can see in this mirror, but it's still like, it's hard. You know what I'm saying? I can see, but barely. But it's better cause I can see, you know. But yeah, so. We just gonna get into it. Um, sorry if I'm in and out of the frame because I'm doing my best. So, okay, it feels so. I like this texture kind of braiding hair. I never had it, but I like it because it has like the kinky feel to it and I feel like that looks best with braids but before I even get to any of that 
Before I get into empty of that, I need to part and stuff my hair. I want a section like this, and then you put my thing. So I'm gonna attempt to do that. Oh, y'all cannot see me. I'm sorry, but I need to be up close. Uh, I don't think my phone. So, part and takes me time, to be honest. Because it just be taking time. I don't know why it just do. It just takes me a while. Okay, that's actually kind of crisp. It didn't seem like it was getting crisp, but that's actually kind of crisp. Um, I'm not gonna talk much just because I brought my iPad down so that I could kind of watch stuff on YouTube while I'm doing this. Cause I know I'm not. This is probably going to take me a process, definitely a couple hours. I feel like the parting, and I'm not the fastest braider, so. I feel like that is the time, but especially the parting when I'm parting on myself because, okay, how do I move over this way, yeah, all right, because I can still see, but it's still like so far away, if I have my glasses on, I might be able to see a little more, but. So, I'm gonna put it. We already had 10 minutes. So, yeah, let me pull time next because we're already at 10 minutes. Okay, y'all, it's not bad. And I'm gonna try to insert the little clips in the video. It is not bad for my first time. But I think what I have this decided a corporate decision is I'm going to make them a little bigger just because. So I didn't need all this hair, but I like this hair and I think, you know, once I take the style out, I mean, at least I'll have it in and I could do like a little pony or something, I don't know. But I think what I've decided is to definitely do them a little bigger, like I was originally going to, because, like I said, y'all come here to judge for my first time, okay? It's not bad, but I just feel like I, I don't know. It might be a tad bit better looking and easier just for me with um, bigger parts and stuff. I just think it's just going to be better for me doing this on my own head overall which i was originally going to do right i was really going to do that but i wanted smaller ones but it's really not bad but it's just my mind's telling me no i don't know because it's not bad for my first time it's really not and i like this size But I really did want the bigger ones in the beginning. And I just feel like it'll be easier. Maybe next time I can try. But I really feel like for this size, because I never did research for this size, I will probably need to do this size on somebody else first. Originally, originally going to do because 
the small ones did not turn out bad like you see in the previous clip I don't know if that was for my vlog or for that, but I think I'm going to put that in here instead of my vlog. So, I say hey vlog in that, then that's why. But I decided to do them bigger, and you know, this way definitely do not look as bad. If I'm looking even this way, so I know if I was to get, you know, like, my camera and put it in the back, it would, it still wouldn't look bad. You know, I got the pieces down. I had bigger pieces, but the pieces that I was originally kind of using for my smaller braids kind of fit perfect for this bigger part size which is weird so I feel like with not with braids again like I was saying if it's your first time don't get frustrated it's all about kind of finding your own rhythm and I feel like the part and space and the hair size like the strand size to feed into the hair that's going to be maybe you know your biggest challenge which i feel like it was for me but you know this looks like a solid joint is definitely not hanging as much i fed the hair in like literally <laughs> kind of right in the beginning of oh, my phone is about to die so i need to charge this phone right in the beginning of the braid i might have the time lapse on my other phone now while this is trying to solve quality changes sorry but maybe i'll do it from the back camera but yeah um it's definitely not hanging as bad one thing i did know i have to lighten my pressure up because since i'm feeding this in and me trying to pull too tight to make sure it's tight it pulls my it pulls it down in a way but that kind of happens with all my braids i don't know why i don't know because i can have a really really tight grip but i try not to but so yeah the beginning parts of this video is probably not going to be even inserted because it was me doing a small braids but just in case i just want you guys to know if i put it in there or not i don't know how i'm going to edit this but originally i wanted to do big braids but then when I looked, like, was thinking about doing my hair, I wanted to do smaller ones, but it just wasn't working out. I didn't say any clips. It wasn't that bad. Again, I'll put them in again for my first time, but I just felt like the bigger ones would be easier. And I still struggle to, you know, get in and get over them, make it look presentable. But this is the first one. We got it. Oh dang, the time be flying when you do braids. That's why, you know, me, I be needing the whole day. It's 2.51. I swore the last time I looked at my phone, it was like 2.18. So, yeah. Um, yeah, and the lamp is not bad. Um, This, again, was a 30 inch. They had 30 inch, but I just felt like that was too long for me to be trying to break that one. Maybe if I was going to and somebody else was on my hair then maybe but still i mean this braid is still long this braid comes past my butt a little past my butt so yeah i mean y'all might not be able to say let me try to set that up like that so y'all can kind of see it just you know that's where it comes so i don't know if i'm gonna put beads on here or not but you know this is the first one hopefully you can see it and i don't think so bad so i'm gonna just continue with the bigger ones and i know the more i do this up my head is gonna start to look better but the braid itself you know looks neat it looks even so that's what I want because usually like when I first 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 started out braiding charity would look Christ but it's all about process and group so yeah I'm about to time lapse on my other phone
control started turning a little bit and this never turns like right on me before so I'm gonna have to put some mousse or some oil once I'm done because yeah so here I'm gonna do a, a heart shape attempt to do that again like I kind of had on my other braid that's why I like this next control because it's getting slick For the first time, my braids are pretty even. The parts sizes are not consistent, but oh well, I don't care because I can't part my own head because I can't not really see. And no matter how I try to get the part to be, you know, similar, I just can't see, so it don't end up being so. Like these here are super big, but these big, but then they not that big. Like you know what I'm saying? I tried to make a heart just so I could write like this. And here's the back of my head. But I think it's my first time. They don't look that bad. Um, I gotta cut it and dip it and stuff. And I'm gonna show you you know, that too, but it's cute. I did my edges a little bit. Y'all can't really see everything, but it's cute. Yeah, so I'm gonna cut my ends. Herbie I finished my bird. Y'all gonna really see when I go in my room. I cut the ends so they don't look straight. I might cut them a little more. Because some of them don't look like they got cut. But I need somewhere to release. Sit the kids, but I'm about to dip my ends. So that y'all can see. So um. Yeah. 
this is how I'm nine times out of ten going to wear it more to the side just because of this little heart thing. But this is probably how I'm just going to wear it the most. But I don't like the one part of the back because I can turn it around. I'm going to see if y'all can see. So it's like right here because I didn't really know to do with the part because if I did it right here, I felt like it would have been too big. And I did a little triangle on the side. So that'd be like the only thing when I do braids and stuff. I don't like the braid part would be okay but when it comes to my parting on my own head it's just not the best because it's my head and i cannot see <coughs> excuse me so yeah before these braids start making my hair wet i'm about to put mousse on it uh, no i think i'm gonna wait till later because with mousse are you supposed to bow dye it i don't know but I'm going to wait till later. But I just wanted y'all to see. And it's really cute. I don't mind the mess in the back. But I told y'all I would come back the next morning when it was like daylight. Um, I have my ring light on. Oh, yes, that definitely makes a difference. I don't have no lip gloss on my lips because I have the lip liner. But I don't have the lip gloss because I'm about to go get my nails done. And then I got to go to the mall. But I know in the nail salon, I'm going to have to wear my mask. And I know sometimes when I wear lip gloss with the mask it might get all up under here and I don't got time for it so I'm gonna put my lip gloss and stuff on after I get my nails done but this is the finished look um like I said the edge control it ne I never used it, that edge control for braids but that was the first time I see it turning white but it don't ever usually like give me a problem with turning white but it did turn a little white but I just put some you know like some oil sheen on it and just rub it in and that went away it's still little pieces in here that I was supposed to cut off like this that I didn't. Uh, ha, let me do that. But, um, yeah, so I just put beads on some of them, not on all, but this is what they look like. Um, yeah, this is what they look like. Uh, right here, like I said, I don't really like this part because I couldn't see, but I already know, like, my parting, when I do parting on my own head, it don't be the straightest, and it don't be, like, the best of parting, but that's fine because, like, I can only do so much. But otherwise, I think they came out very, very cute, and I'm feeling it, I'm feeling the lights. I wish they did have the color. That I was looking for. I didn't want this 613. I wanted, you know, like that brown, but it's like a little bit lighter, and I could not find it. And they did have it, but they had it ombre, and I did not want that. So I just did this, and I had 613 braids in my hair before, but I just didn't want this color. But it's still cute. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, and see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh.